to the 2020 Clackamas Web Academy graduation ceremony. The commencement ceremony allows students, staff, and family members a rare opportunity to reflect on the successes and challenges of the high school academic journey. And let's face it, the challenges our graduates have faced are extraordinary. Most of these students were born in 2002 and grew up through the Great Recession. And now they're celebrating their high school graduation from the safety of their home to support the global fight against COVID-19. Tonight, we honor those seniors who have completed their high school requirements set forth by the state of Oregon in spite of these challenges. We also celebrate all their tremendous accomplishments that will be shared by our chosen speakers. This group is eager to pursue a life of higher education, military, career, and service to their community. Our graduates embrace the challenges of tomorrow, and they will use their grit, determination, intelligence, and perseverance to lead our communities during uncertain times. I take great solace in knowing that this generation, like the greatest generation before them, is ready to answer the call. It is my pleasure to introduce the class of 2020. Before we begin tonight's celebration, we would like to honor the career of Carol Webb. Carol Webb is a founding member of the Clackamas Web Academy. Her professionalism and work ethic has helped elevate CWA to one of the premier blended learning schools in Oregon. For 13 years, Carol served as the only secretary in our school until 2016 when we finally hired an assistant to work alongside her. During Carol's time at CWA, she has been responsible for managing student enrollment for approximately 500 students K-12, serving as CWA's financial bookkeeper, preparing statements for our annual financial audit, and supporting the needs of 29 staff members. However, the roles she cherishes the most are the ones in which she's supporting our students. It is common to see Carol serving as an unofficial nurse, custodian, tour guide, teacher, advisor, and friend to everyone within the CWA school community. She is loved by many and respected by all. Carol Webb, congratulations on your retirement. Your can-do spirit and energy will be dearly missed. From the time she joined us in second grade at Clackamas Webb Academy, it was apparent to her teachers that Lauren was an exceptional person and a superb student. 
This year, we are delighted to celebrate her high school graduation and her achievement as valedictorian. In addition to excelling in her high school classes, Lauren also soared in her college classes, maintaining a 4.0 the whole way. But there's more to Lauren than just being a dedicated student. She is a young woman of quiet composure. She is thoughtful in speech and compassionate in action. She routinely volunteers her time with the Bible ministry and is interested in working with disaster relief organizations in the future. Of the many plans for after she graduates, Lauren hopes to travel, work in her family's business, and continue her volunteer work. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Lauren Edwards, valedictorian. Thank you, Mrs. Steer. I have truly enjoyed working with you over the last four years. Hello, family, friends, faculty, and fellow students. Well, we probably never thought we'd be graduating under these circumstances, but I'm sure I can speak for all of us students when I say thank you to CWA for helping us celebrate this milestone. Thank you also to our parents and family for all of your love, support, and patience as we've studied for tests, procrastinated on projects, and worked hard to master long division. We couldn't have gotten to this point without our families and our CWA advisors. Thank you. Now, as we are ending our high school education, we may be thinking that we would like to take a nice long break from learning, or at least for the summer, right? However, learning and trying new things is an important part of being human and is something we should never give up. Whether we are going on to college, job training, volunteer work, or traveling, there will always be opportunities to learn new things, and we can be excited about that. The musician B.B. King said, the beautiful thing about learning is nobody can take it away from you. There are many reasons to keep our love of learning, but that is one of the best. As we have seen very plainly in the last few months, we make plans in life, but life then has unexpected twists and turns. We can learn, though, no matter what is going on in our life. Whether we are 18 or 80, whether we've reached all our goals or we're still working on them, whether we're at a high point of our life or in one of the lows, no matter what, we can always have learning with us. It is available to everyone, and all we have to do is put the effort in and keep trying. This love of learning can seem vague and abstract. So what does it really mean? It certainly can mean something large and significant, like learning a new language or getting a college degree. But the small curiosities in life are just as important. Things like trying snorkeling, even if you're nervous about it, and then learning about all the cool fish you never knew existed. Or you can go even smaller than that just trying to grow a basil plant on your windowsill. The most important thing is to keep that curiosity about life. We need to be open to new opportunities of learning, even if it seems unlike us. We have such a wealth of information available to us today, and it would be a shame not to use it. So explore different avenues of learning and creating. Even if it doesn't seem like something you would be interested in, or even if it's a little ridiculous, because our lives are made richer by variety. Clackamas Web Academy has given us a wonderful foundation for a lifetime of learning. We were able to learn and grow in our own ways while still having the support of caring advisors and staff. By the time anyone graduates from my high school, Hopefully they have developed a degree of self-motivation. At CWA, we've had the opportunity to practice this skill more than the average student. This is such a great thing to carry with us in life, especially whenever we are done with school, our testing dates are over, and we're no longer graded on what we learn, and there are no essays to turn in. Thanks largely to this school, I learned how to learn. Thank you. Even though I probably won't remember very much trigonometry in a few years, and I'm sorry, 
I have already forgotten most of the specific battles and dates I learned in my Civil War class. I know that the skills I gained at CWA will always stay with me. So, Clackamas Web Academy Class of 2020, never stop learning and growing. Be curious about the world around you. Find some, something that you love and keep doing it, even if it never brings you any money. Learn a new language, make a new recipe, look up how to knit a scarf on YouTube, and play the piano very badly until all of a sudden you aren't so bad at it anymore. The world is full of fascinating things if we can just remember to look for them. Good evening. My name is Jennifer Seibel and I'm a teacher and advisor at the Clackamas Web Academy. Tonight it is my pleasure to introduce one of our student speakers, Miss Cheyenne Bowman. Cheyenne came to CWA just two months into her ninth grade year. She started at traditional public high school and soon found that it just not just wasn't her path. She has since um, flourished and found home at CWA and is now uh, graduating this year after four years of hard work. I've worked with Cheyenne for the past two years as her advisor and during that time I've gotten to know her quite well. Uh, from our 5 a.m. text messages where I was getting up and she was going to bed um, and also the delightful home visits with Cheyenne, her mom, and her dad, where we would talk about school, but also we would talk about life and health and just other things that were really important to Cheyenne. Um, over the years, I've discovered that she has a level of maturity that not very many high school students have. In addition, she is calm and caring and highly compassionate. And really, when you spend any time with Cheyenne, she really focuses on you and you have her full attention. Uh, I have one of Cheyenne's quotes that I think is worth sharing as she closes out her high school career is that she says she's learned so much more in online school than she ever thought she would, um, but also more about academics, but really more about herself. And over the years, I've really seen her grow and develop. Mr. Shipley and I uh, have been nudging her, prodding her to give this speech this year to as a as a class representative and she finally agreed to do it so we're really happy because both of us have always thought there's just something very special about Cheyenne and tonight you're going to hear just how special she is enjoy and now here is Cheyenne Bowman Hello, uh, my name is Cheyenne Bowman and I've been doing Clackamas Web Academy now for about four years. So if I can share one thing with you right now, it would be one of my favorite quotes. And it says, you can't skip chapters, that's not how life works. You have to read every line and meet every character. You won't enjoy all of it. Some chapters will make you cry for weeks. There's going to be pages that you don't want for them to end. But you have to keep going no matter what. Stories keep the world revolving. Live yours, don't miss out. Um, you see, this quote reminds me of this moment that we're living in right now, because all of us peers um, that are graduating right now, we're on the same page right now together. And we're living this chapter of our lives, graduating high school, figuring out who we want to be. Um, and we're living through all this in the middle of a pandemic which is crazy, and it's crazy that we're living in history right now, but we're doing it together on this page. Um, time is something that is irreplaceable, and as human beings, it's so easy to get caught up in um, the world and things that won't matter at the end of the day or won't matter when we're deceased, and it keeps us from just living and being. Um, and we won't cherish time until it's taken away from us. Um, and I believe that those moments that we just sit and just cherish and be in are the moments that we actually look back and we cherish more. But life is always going to set you on the path that you need to be on. No matter how hard you try and suppress the curveballs that life is going to throw your way throughout the chapters that you're living, 
if you live in every single moment and live out every single day, you will be where you need to be at the end, at the end of your story. What matters is right now, this moment that we're living in, because you're not going to get it back again. And these moments are what teach us things. And life is about three things, living, learning, and growing. So, in conclusion, live your story and don't miss out. Let's get it, graduates. It is my pleasure to introduce to you Amy Turku. Amy began her high school experience with CWA as a freshman and started taking college classes that very same year as a part of our early college options program. Last year, as a junior in high school, Amy earned her associate's degree. This year, she has been taking advanced chemistry and physics classes at Oregon Tech. Amy will be entering Pacific University next fall, majoring in environmental science with an emphasis in toxicology and chemistry. All this toward the end of applying to medical school and becoming a primary care physician. We have been privileged to have Amy as a part of CWA and the ECO program these past four years. Her drive, her bright and positive spirit, her kindness and care for her fellow ECO students has been an inspiration to each of us. We are very, very grateful for her. Tonight, Amy has arranged and will be performing What a Beautiful Name by Hillsong Worship on the violin. She's accompanied by her sister, Kristen, who's a CWA alum, class of 2015.
It is now my privilege to introduce to you CWA's second valedictorian of the class of 2020, Dylan Dayton. Dylan, while he only joined CWA's Early College Option Program this past year as a senior, has accomplished a great deal. Taking more than a full load of classes each term and maintaining the 4.0 GPA that he had earned in high school throughout all of his college classes, Dylan has excelled. This summer, Dylan will complete his Associates of Arts Oregon Transfer Degree. In the fall, he'll enter Portland State University as a junior, majoring in psychology. It's been a great joy having Dylan with us this senior year and watching him accomplish so very much. I'm very sure that that trend will continue into his undergraduate and graduate degrees. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. This is a quote by, that I live for by the mindful and intelligent Gandhi. My name is Dylan Dayton, and I never envisioned myself giving this speech. There are a lot of things that have changed over the last year, and specifically in the last few months. For me, I changed high schools, lost a lot of friends, started college, gained new friends, and I have learned so much through the process. As for the last few months, this term alone, I am taking 24 credits. As I'm sure it's the same for many of you, this is my first time taking online classes. Some of you guys are dealing with additional stress or pressures due to finances, and many people are stressing over the health of loved ones. More recently, we've had struggles with a fight for equality. Even in the midst of these challenges and tough times, the coronavirus and the worldwide stand for equality have brought upon us. We have still continued and we still have succeeded. You are all now high school graduates. Congratulations. It is an honor to have the privilege of giving this speech today. For those of you listening, congratulations on your accomplishments that you have accumulated. You have begun the journey that Gandhi desired for all. Whether you decide to continue your schooling or decide that it's not the right path for you, it's important to never stop learning. Like Gandhi, I too challenge you to live in the moment. As an observant person, I look around deeply. I've been able to see those who are absorbed in the partying scene and living for the moment, but yet I've also seen those individuals that are married to their textbooks. I believe that in life, it is intended for you to find a happy medium. I encourage you all to go out and live your life from this day on as if, you, if it were your last. If you were to wake up the next day, be grateful for your previous day and learn from your accomplishments. Likewise, wake up able to learn from your failures. With the right mindset, you will be able to live your life full of both knowledge and joy. You will be able to live life without regrets, yet with the knowledge of discerning from bad ideas. Living in this way will give you the opportunity to live life with a long, loving heart and that will lead and inspire those around you. Now it's your turn. Go out and live your life. You have the ability to decide at this very moment how you want to live it. Make that decision, then live as if you were to die tomorrow, and continue learning as if you were to live forever. Thank you. Brilliant and accomplished artist, accomplished musician and videographer, hysterically funny sister and brother twin duo, it is my joy to introduce to our next performance to you. Riley and Caden Rogers have been a bright and shining part of Clackamas Web Academy for the past four years. After their first two years in CWA's traditional program, I was lucky that their advisor, Jennifer Seibel, even let them apply for the early college program, since I know for a fact that she would rather have kept them as her own students. But encouraged them to apply, she did, and they have accomplished a great deal. Riley has earned over 63 college credits while affirming her love for science, and Caden has completed his associate's degree in di digital media communication. Both will enter Walla Walla University this fall with Riley majoring in biology and Caden in aviation management. Tonight's performance features Riley's art, 
videoed by Caden with music written and performed by Caden. In honor of the class of 2020, junior CWA and early college student Dasha Kolpokov will now be singing Million Dreams by Pink. I close my eyes and I can see Well, that's sweet enough for me That I call my own Through the dark, through the door, through an old spin before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost my mind. I don't care, I don't care if they call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design Cause every night I lie above Brightest colors will light up Now your dreams are keeping me awake I think of what the world could be Vision of the one I see Now your dreams are all it's gonna take the world we're gonna make There's a house we can build Every room inside is filled With things from far away Special things we can pop Each one there to make me smile on a rainy day They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy They can say, they can say we've lost our mind See, I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy Run away to a world that we designed Let me be part of 
There are high achievers, and then there is Ruby Stasek. Ruby joined Clackamas Web Academy as a seventh grader. By the end of her eighth grade year, she had completed her freshman year of high school requirements. During her freshman year of high school, Ruby began full-time college work, and it continued to excel. During her sophomore and junior years of high school, in addition to her online college classes and CWA classes, Ruby danced professionally with the Grand Rapids Ballet Company in Michigan. Returning to Portland this year for her senior year, Ruby has continued in her full-time college work. This year she will be graduating with 68 college credits and even more. She has maintained that perfect 4.0 GPA and is graduating as CWA's third valedictorian in the class of 2020. Ruby has received a full scholarship to the University of Arizona Honors Program where she will be majoring in aerospace engineering with a minor in computer science. It's my joy to introduce to you Ruby Stasek, CWA Valedictorian, Class of 2020. Hi, uh, my name is Ruby, and I just wanted to start out by saying that because the Class of 2020 has been in a little bit of a difficult situation, I just wanted to keep this speech light and fun, so here goes. Um, throughout my high school career, I've watched my fair share of sitcoms, and although I learned a lot from school, don't get me wrong, I wanted to share a few of the things that I learned by watching my favorite TV show, or one of my favorite TV, sh TV shows, Parks and Recreation. There are a lot of things to be passionate about in life. Ron Swanson, for example, is passionate about three things, and three things only. Bacon, capitalism, and keeping his private life private. April Ludgate is passionate about animals and Andy Dwyer, and Andy Dwyer is passionate about everything he does, even if he's not very good at it. And of course, Leslie Nope is incredibly passionate about Pawnee doing everything she can to make the town that she loves the best it can be. If you're not working towards a goal that you feel strongly about, then the work that you do will not be your best. We should try to find what we are passionate about and put our focus towards a goal that we are invested in. Another valuable takeaway is to not take no for an answer, respectfully, of course. The iconic Leslie Nope turns every no into a yes, looking at every problem from a million different perspectives until she can figure out how to solve it. She pushes, she pushes her agenda because she feels strongly about it and will work around any obstacle in her way. We need to tell ourselves to persevere through difficult times and sometimes all it takes is an extra push in the right direction to get us started on our path. The staff in the Parks and Recreation Department of Pawnee, Indiana, became a tight knit group and were always there for one another. They had disagreements, of course, but in the end they realized how powerful their bond truly was. They stepped in for Leslie when she needed help running her campaign. They put all their energy into April, helping her find something that she was passionate about for a career. And they helped each other achieve their goals. We should remind ourselves that we all have people in our circles who have supported us in times of weakness. We should thank all the parents here today who have um, raised us into successful students, and the friends who have cheered us up, and the teachers who gave us knowledge and guided us through our high school journey. But of course, one of the most important things I learned from sitcoms is the power of comedy. Our class of 2020, as I said before, has had some really tough times, and our senior year has been unlike any other so far. And although we may have had an unusual experience, we made it and we should be proud. 
Even in dark times, there is always a bright side, and that is truly the resilience of the human spirit. To the class of 2020, we can do this. Um, I would like to leave you with one quote. As April Ludgate Dwyer would say, Time is money. Money is power. Power is pizza. Pizza is knowledge. Let's go. The Clackamas Web Academy graduating class consists of 74 student members. As a group, these students have collectively donated 2,960 hours to service learning projects across the state of Oregon. It should be noted that CWA graduate Jason Archibald exceeded his high school service learning requirement and did so concurrently by meeting the standards to earn his Eagle Scout Award. The class of 2020 earned 1,806 college credits collectively through our partnership with Clackamas Community College, Mount Hood Community College, Portland Community College, and the Oregon Institute of Technology. This is a cost savings to them and their families of over $195,000 represented in CCC in-state tuition and fees. CWA's access to Oregon Community Colleges has allowed eight of our students to earn the equivalency of an associate's degree while concurrently meeting Oregon State standards to earn a high school diploma. The graduating class of 2020 also had eight students who graduated early with an Oregon standard diploma. These young adults were able to accelerate their education through hard work and early planning to complete all of their requirements in three or less years. CWA has 13 graduates who earned the Oregon State Seal of Biliteracy. Each student represents one of about 500 students statewide who earned this award. The Seal of Biliteracy is an award given by a school, a school district, or a county office of education in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages. I want to point out that Bogdan Gordienko showed language proficiency in three languages, English, Russian, and Ukrainian. This recognition will serve him and the entire group really well as they pursue employment in a global economy. To prepare for their future career paths, our graduates have all completed a 40-hour internship in their chosen career area. Recognizing that more training and educated is needed to be successful, some graduates have been accepted and will continue to take fall classes at Clackamas Community College, Mount Hood Community College, Portland Community College, Southwestern Oregon Community College, Oregon Institute of Technology, Walla Walla University, Warner Pacific University, Linfield College, Fagan's Beauty School, Oregon State University, Brigham Young University, University of Arizona, Pacific University, and Portland State University. Finally, I would like to recognize our three valedictorians, Dylan Tucker Dayton. Dylan Tucker Dayton enrolled in our school in the fall of 2019. In his four years in high school, he managed to maintain a perfect 4.0 GPA. At CWA, he earned 54 college credits. This is a cost savings to him and his family of over $6,000 represented in CCC in-state tuition and fees. His future plans are to attend Portland State University where he'll major in psychology. Lauren Michelle Edwards. She's been a student of ours since the fall of 2009. And if you do the math, she enrolled in our school as a second grader in our program. She too managed to maintain a perfect 4.0 GPA. Her future plans are to continue to work in the family business and volunteer in Bible ministry. And finally, Ruby Veronica Stasek. She's been a student of ours since the fall of 2014. She enrolled in our school as a seventh grader. She too managed to maintain a perfect 4.0 GPA. She earned 68 college credits through our early college options program. 
This is a cost savings to her and her family of over $7,000 represented in CCC in-state tuition and fees. Her future plans are to attend the University of Arizona on a full academic scholarship where she wants to major in aerospace engineering and maybe get a minor in computer science. Well done, Kira. To the class of 2020, thank you for making CWA your school of choice. We are extremely proud of your accomplishments.
got stamina Oh-oh, wanna know I close my eyes, but oh-oh I got stamina And oh yeah, running through the way below oh, oh, yeah. I got stamina And oh yeah, I'm running and I'm just enough And oh-oh, I got stamina Don't give up, I won't give up Don't give up, no, no, no Don't give up, I won't give up Don't give up, no, no, no
So I find out 